Today it's time to do another flight on my Freewing Pandora and this time it's time to just to try a high wing when it comes to the wing and also a tricycle gear configuration when it comes to the landing gears and this is just a sweet flying RS airplane so let's head outside and do a flight on this Pandora. Today it's really calm weather, no wind to be worried about and this Pandora is just a great slow flying RS airplane. Let's get it down the first landing then. So just as here you should actually do like a wheelie landing, just flare at the last moment to touch down on the mains just to save the nose gear. So it's not really difficult to land in the Panora. I think if you, especially if you have no wind, it's just super easy. You can go really slow, and it flares really well as well. And also an able RS airplane. So I'm doing this flight on a 3S 2200 milliamp battery, and as I replaced then the ESC inside, I can actually do 3S and 4S. I think 3S works just fine. But if you want to have the extra speed, uh, 4S uh, is also a little bit more fun. And there is little stall tennis to this RS airplane, it's just a, a great flying one. When you want to do some aerobatics, you just have to pull the stick and it does it really quick also. That is something that actually surprised me the first time I flew this one because it was so easy to, to move around in the sky being like a 1.4 meter RC airplane. And also quite long fuselage so that, that uh, usually means that they are really steady when they fly. So the, the RC airplane that have like almost like a box shape where the uh, the fuse is uh, just as long as the uh, the wing then uh, they are a little bit less steady than uh, when you have like a longer fuse and even in uh, in high wing configuration there is a, a fairly amount of dihedral on the wing And you do have to install uh, servos to actually get flaps on this model, but everything else is included. So as long as you just have like two servos, and I put in Emacs metal geared servos, so those are my like spare servos I use when uh, a servo breaks or I have to replace a servo. And they have been working just uh, great on all my RC airplanes so far. And although I cannot find like float spares for this RC airplane, I, I do think that you actually could use some uh, other brand floats and get floats on this one because you have like two mounting points. Then again, I have so many other <laughs> planes to fly on floats, so I'm not really interested in doing floats on the Pandora yet at least. And especially as you have these four configurations, I think you can actually just assemble one configuration and flying for a while and when you get tired of it, just change the configuration. So I'm just doing a lot of landings just to show the, uh, like the great performance, even as I 
tricycle gear configuration then. And instead of having my NX10 giving me this tone alarm, I set it to voice, which is actually much more pleasing than having the annoying beep sound. Time for the final landing. So you can make this really, really super smooth when you land the Pandora. Just as with the, the other modes, when you have like a low wing or a high wing, uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter for this RC airplane. I think it just flies just as great regardless of, of configuration. So the only thing I can say as a negative is actually, as usual, the nose gear. There is like a plastic piece which holds holds the um, the gear pin, uh, and that's just the weak part on this RCI plane. Other than that, I think it's just fantastic. Of course, you have to provide your own uh, flap servos, which I've put in some Metal Gear servos. Uh, but other than that, it's just a fantastic one. And I also have a new um, EC inside, so I have actually the Avian 45 amp just to get rid of the uh, unnecessary telemetry warnings. Um, so. It, if you just are interested in, in this one, um, I think it's just a fantastic RCI plane with all these configurations. Of course, I would wish for, for this one to have navigation lights. And I will also wish uh, that they had like floats at least available as a spare or an optional part to purchase. But uh, I mean, it's really interesting also because this one, when you have it like in the low wing configuration, I think it reminds me of the uh, Cherokee and when you have it like a high wing I'm not really sure but it, it certainly reminds of some of, of uh, you know the other high wing RC airplanes so uh, I think it's just fantastic that you can have so many RC airplanes in one in this free wing Pandora.